Hey everybody, it's Friday. I'm Matthew Laria, and you're watching the Faith for Life broadcast. Let's pray and release faith over today's broadcast, and then we're going to get right into the Word. Father, we do thank you for your Word. And Lord, we thank you for all the good things you've been revealing to us this week on the broadcast. Lord, we ask you again today for revelation of your Word. We ask you for grace and help to receive it, to put it into practice, and to see it work in our lives. And we do thank you for it. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, all this week on the broadcast, we're doing a series of teachings entitled, Casting All Your Care Upon Him. And let's go back over to 1 Peter chapter 5. And let's look there again at verse 7. It says, Casting all your care upon Him, for He cares for you. And so, friend, we've been learning this week on the broadcast that we're supposed to cast all our care over onto the Lord. What is a care? A care is something that causes us anxiety. It's a concern, something that causes us uneasiness of mind. And when cares come to us, we are supposed to cast all of our care over onto the Lord. Now, I want to look over today at Psalm 55, and we're going to look there at verse 22. Now, there is a promise attached to us casting our care on the Lord. In other words, there is something that we will enjoy when we cast our cares over onto the Lord. And it's this, when we cast our cares onto the Lord, God will take care of us. Psalm 55, 22 says this, cast your burden upon the Lord and he will sustain you. Now a burden is a load or a heavy load or something that is oppressive. And so it flows right down the same line as a care. And what did that verse tell us to do with our burdens? We're supposed to cast our burdens upon the Lord and the verse went on to say, and he will sustain you. The word sustain means he will bear you. He will support you. He will keep you from falling and keep you alive. And so if we cast our burdens upon the Lord, then the promise attached to that is that God will sustain us. Let me read this to you out of some other translations. The NCV says, give your worries to the Lord and he will take care of you. Come on, if you give your worries to the Lord, if you cast your cares on the Lord, he will take care of you. The complete Jewish Bible says, unload your burden on Adonai. And friend, that's what you and I are supposed to be doing with cares that come to us. We're not supposed to be loaded down with them we're supposed to be unloading our cares upon the Lord. And if we do that, He will take care of us. He will sustain us. The CEB says, He will support you. The Message Bible says, Pile your troubles on God's shoulders and He'll carry your load. He'll help you out. I want to read that to you again. Pile your troubles on God's shoulders and he will carry your load. He will help you out. Now, he will only carry your load and he will only help you out if you cast your cares upon him. And so this is a wonderful promise that's attached to us casting our cares on the Lord. If we do, God will sustain us. God will support us. He'll keep us from falling. He'll keep us alive. Come on, he'll help us out. He'll carry our load if we cast our cares upon him. Now, let's go to Psalm 37. Psalm 37, and we're going to look there at verse 5. It says, commit your way unto the Lord. Trust also in him and he will bring it to pass. Now, the word commit in that verse means to entrust your way. And the word way there means your life. And so the idea is you're committing the care of your life into the hands of the Lord. Now I want to read that verse to you out of the Amplified Bible. 
It says, commit your way to the Lord, roll and repro repose each care of your load on him, trust also in him, and he will bring it to pass. And so you are rolling the care of your life over onto the Lord. You're committing the care of your life into the hands of the Lord. Same idea as casting your care upon him. You're entrusting your life into the care of God's hands. Now there's a promise attached to that. The King James Bible says he will bring it to pass. Let me read you some other translations. The expanded Bible says, if you roll the care of your life over onto him, he will take care of you. The easy to read says he will help you. God's word translation says he will act on your behalf. The message Bible says he will do whatever needs to be done. The Wyclef version says he will make it happen. And so if you cast your care on the Lord, if you entrust it into his hands, what will God do? He will take care of you. He will help you. He will act on your behalf. He will do whatever needs to be done. He will make it happen. Come on, friend. Are you getting interested in casting your care over on the Lord? There are some awesome promises attached to this that if we will cast our cares on the Lord, if you will roll the care of that situation into his hands, he will help you out. He will act on your behalf. He will do whatever needs to be done he will make it happen. This is good news, isn't it? Now let's go over to Matthew chapter 6. And I want to look at another verse there in Matthew 6. And we're going to read there in verse 25. Come on, friend. Is the Lord helping you today? This is, this is strongly motivating me. <laughs> and it should be you too. To make sure that we're never carrying any cares. Why? Because if we cast our cares on the Lord, God will take care of us. Now, Jesus said this to his disciples in verse 25. He said, take no thought for your life. Word thought there means take no care for your life. What you're going to eat, what you're going to drink, nor yet for your body, what you shall put on. And so see provision for their lives, what they were going to eat, what they were going to wear, what they were going to drink. These things were a care to them. And Jesus is telling them, don't take the care of your life. But then he went on in verse 33 and he said, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added to you. I was reading that a few weeks back and the Lord said it to me like this, all these things that concern you will be taken care of. And that's what Jesus was telling them. Don't take the care for your life, what you're going to eat, what you're going to drink, what you're going to wear. And if you read that whole chapter, you can see he's telling them, cast the care of that over onto me, trust me, seek first my kingdom, and all these things that concern you will be taken care of. And so if we don't take the care of our lives, but cast the care of our lives over onto the Lord, all the things that concern us will be taken care of. And so, friend, the way that you and I get helped, the way that we get sustained, the way that we get taken care of is by casting our cares upon the Lord. See, we can carry the care and we can carry the burden if we choose to, but how foolish to do so after reading all these verses. We have God's word on it. That, we, that if we cast our cares upon him, he'll take care of us. He'll help us out. He'll carry our load. He'll do whatever needs to be done. He'll make it happen. And so how foolish, how foolish it is for you and I to walk around carrying cares when God is saying, hey, don't worry about that. Don't take the care of it. Cast the care of that over onto me and I will take care of you. I will help you out. I will carry your load. 
I will do whatever needs to be done. And so friend, it's foolish to take the care, but it's also very dangerous to take the care because when you take the care and worry and carry the care, God cannot take care of you. I want to say it to you again. If you take the care and worry, come on, God cannot take care of you. He said, cast your burden on him, cast your burdens on the Lord and he will sustain you. Well, what if you don't cast your burden on the Lord? Then you don't get sustained. Psalm 37, 5 said, roll the care of your life over onto the Lord and he'll take care of you. Well, what if you don't cast your care over on the Lord? Then he won't be able to take care of you. Jesus said, don't take the care for your life. Come on, cast the care over on me. Trust me and all the things that concern you will be taken care of. Well, what if you do take the care? What if you do worry and walk around like that? Then all the things that concern you won't be taken care of. You see, when we take the care, we actually move into a position of unbelief and shut God out of our life where he can't take care of us the way that he wants to. And so not only is it foolish to take the care, it's very dangerous to take the care for your life or for any situation in your life. And so friend, we need to make much of casting our cares on the Lord. This shouldn't be just a little thing in your life. This shouldn't just be a small thing in your life. This should be a big deal. And you need to make much of this in your life. And this needs to become a priority in your life to develop in casting your cares on the Lord. Why? Because it is the difference between being sustained and not being sustained. It's the difference between being taken care of and not being taken care of. And come on, if you want to be taken care of by the Lord, and I know you do because you're watching the broadcast, if you want Him to sustain you, if you want Him to help you, then you must, you must cast your cares over onto Him and not take the care. And friend, if you do cast your cares over onto Him, He will sustain you. He will help you. He will support you. He'll keep you from falling. He will do whatever needs to be done. He will work on your behalf. He will take care of everything that concerns you. This is some of the best news that you and I have ever heard. Praise the Lord. Now, as we're closing today's broadcast, I want to remind you of these things. Number one, if you cast your burden on the Lord, He will sustain you. Number two, if you roll your cares upon the Lord, He will take care of you. Number three, if we don't take the care of our lives, all the things that concern us, God will take care of. And then number four, the way that you and I get helped, the way that we get sustained, the way that we get taken care of, is that we cast all our cares over onto the Lord. Let's pray. Father, Lord, we just do it right now. And friend, you do it with me as we're praying. Anything that's been trying to weigh on us, anything that's been trying to be a care to us, whether it's our kids or our finances or our family or our job, whatever it is, right now, with our will and with our words, we cast the care of those things over onto you. And Father, we thank you that you are working in our behalf. We thank you that you are supporting us, that you are sustaining us, that you are doing whatever needs to be done, that you are helping us out, and that you are taking care of us in those situations. And we do thank you for it. And Father, as we go forward, we are asking you by your Spirit, anytime we're taking the care, Instead of casting it over onto you, we thank you for reminding us and showing that to us so that we can repent and get it fixed and cast all of our cares onto you. And Father, we do thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. Friend, thank you so much for watching the broadcast today. Thank you so much for watching the broadcast this week. And hey, I'm hooked in faith with you that if you've been carrying cares in your life, that you're getting ready to develop in this to a place that you've never developed before. You're going to cast your cares over on the Lord like you never have before. And you're going to move into a position of faith 
and peace and joy like you never have before. And I believe that if you do this, you're gonna see some things taken care of, taken care of in your life that have been a weight to you. You're gonna see God show up and act on your behalf in Jesus' name. Now, hey, don't forget to come back Monday for the next edition of the Faith for Life broadcast. We'll see you then.